Hi, so um, I'm going to do a, a haul video for some products that I've bought in the last month that haven't been from MAC. Um, so I'm going to start off with a few things I've got from number seven. They've had their um, five pound voucher uh, kind of offer on for the last month or so. I believe it finishes on the 20th of May. So if you're thinking of buying anything from number seven or Ruby and Millie, um, I would get down to Boots, you know, sometime soon. Uh, maybe buy something that's five pounds and you'll get your voucher. Um, so first of all, um, I've got a colour calming. Uh, primer. Now, this is um, a green primer which is to be used on um, you know kind of a skin which is kind of has a ready tinge to it. It helps calm it down. Now, I know that's quite a bright green but it really does help to um, kind of uh, help die down you know um, kind of red tinges to the skin so that it may when you put foundation on it doesn't show through um, as much. Um, this is a, it is a really good product and obviously quite a big tube. Uh, I believe it's ten pounds. Um, obviously, if you've got a voucher, a fiver, which is a bargain because uh, it is a really good product. I've had a lot of good recommendations on this. Um, so, uh, so yeah, if you're a makeup artist, then this would be ideal for a kit um, because you just don't know what type of skin you're going to come across. And this would be um, you know, an excellent thing to have in your kit if you did have somebody who you were working on who did have a bit of redness to the skin. Um, so I would highly recommend that product. Um, next, they brought uh, number seven. Have brought out um, a new bronzer called Starfish Bronzer. Okay, so obviously half and half. You've got um, kind of more matte tan color and then a golden shimmer color. Uh, or you can probably uh, either of them separately uh, but what I do is I mix the two together. Um, I've actually got it on today and hopefully you can see kind of the contour there give an idea of the colour. I think it's a lovely colour that it brings out. I've been looking for a new bronzer um, you know just for kind of everyday wear not something that you spend a lot of money on for special occasions um, and this is normally £12.50 and I've got it for £8.50 and I've really been very happy with it and uh, obviously you get a little mirror <laughs> with it as well um, for, for the money so um, I would highly recommend that if you're looking for um, a new bronzer uh, this summer. Um, another thing that I bought from number seven is um, a blusher, it's a, kind of a peachy colour, this is actually it's called Coral Flush. Um, now I've got a um, Peachy Keen by MAC uh, which I love. I love it because it's got, you know, it's kind of got a bit of a, a goldeny um, shimmer through it as well. This is more of a, you know, a, a blank co color. Um, you've just got the one color um, through it, you know, more matte, um, and it is very good. Um, but there's just, it's just not as exciting, I would say, as as peachy keen. But um, it does give a lovely color. I'll try and swatch that on the back of my hand. There we go. Um, and you know, if you're getting a voucher that's three pound fifty, it's normally eight pound fifty, um, and I think it gives a lovely colour. So um, I, I would recommend that if you're looking for kind of a coral, peachy coloured um, uh, blusher, which is you know an in colour this this uh, this season. Um, Mac are actually bringing out their To The Beach collection, um, I believe this week, and they're going to be bringing out a turquoise coloured um, kind of pencil, eye pencil. This for people with blue eyes is, is gorgeous. If you put it, if you put it along your um, waterline on the inside there, it really makes your eyes stand out. It really, like, it looks as though your eyes are like reflecting, um, and I, like Mac are probably going to be charged about eleven pound fifty for the pencil. I got this for two pound fifty from Number Seven with my voucher, um, and it really does. If you put that on the inside of your eye, it really makes it stand out. I would suggest maybe giving that a shot, you know, because you're getting it for a fraction of the price that Mac will be selling it for. See what you think of it. If you then wanted to go and get something more expensive, then obviously you can go to Mac. But I highly recommend that, especially if you've got blue eyes. Um, you know, it's it obviously it's going to be in this um, this summer. You know, because it's you know one of the prime ranges for Mac uh, this, this um, summer coming up. Um, and then finally, I think number seven. It's the 75th um, anniversary, and they've bought out um, a range of products. Um, 
kind of for each decade. Um, so we've got 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, a lot of the eyeshadow, they've got quite a lot of variation on the eyeshadows. However, the eyeshadows kind of merge into one another uh, for each of the of the palettes. I prefer kind of individual shadows because they don't kind of get mixed up and dirty as much. So I wasn't too keen on those. Um, but one thing that I did see was this nail polish. It's called 60s Mini Skirt. And it's like, it's um, an off-white, I would say maybe kind of a creamy with a bit of a pink tinge in it. Um, and it goes on really well, um, lovely consistency, it doesn't chip that easily, um, and I think, you know, the different nail colours um, are really in at the moment, you know, kind of trying these different colours, and um, I would say this, you know, this is ideal for the moment, obviously, you know, kind of with nautical themes as well, kind of the, the whitey cream colour is kind of in, so um, I would highly recommend that, I think it's a really cute colour, um, you know, for the summer. Um, so I'm going to, uh, just while I'm talking about nail polishes, um, it, just in case you're interested, the colour that I'm wearing at the moment, um, it's called um, Brompton Place by uh, Nails Inc. Um, although it is a nice colour, I would not recommend this product. Um, for I think they cost £10 each, um, these nail polishes. And the consistency of these is uh, not very good. I don't know if it was the same when I first bought it a few months ago, um, but if if it was any better, it wasn't for a long time because I find this very gloopy. It doesn't go on very well. It you know it kind of it's patchy in areas on the nail. It looks all right on the screen there, but in reality, it's not that nice. So I next time if I'm going to get like a baby pink color, which I probably will because I do like it, then I'll probably be going Barry M or something like that because um, I've really not been impressed with that, especially for the price of it. Um, so just uh, just a warning about that um, and then um, just talking about Barry M I have bought two colours from them recently um, I've got Raspberry here and Navy um, both lovely colours I really like Barry M's um, nail paints um, I think they're two ninety five each and then sometimes they'll do offers where it's like two for a fiver um, and that's how I got these two um, I've bought kind of some blue coloured clothes and I've got a few whites recently and I thought get these to make it kind of a, a nautical kind of um, theme so yeah I'm really impressed with those two um, as I am with a lot of Barry M stuff um, really like their Dazzle Dusts as well so I really recommend those nail paints and then finally um, actually not finally I've got um, this is just Revlon um, it's um, a, lip, a lip gloss part of their spring collection it's like a lilac color I've actually got it on today it goes on really well and um, it stays on quite well for a lip gloss as well um, I think it's six six ninety eight or something I think they're selling it for at the moment but Revlon have quite a few kind of three for twos on just now um, and I have to highly recommend their photo ready foundation I've got that on today um, I think it's a lovely product so Obviously, if you're thinking of doing a three for two, maybe mix and match um, with those. And also, I believe that the peachy coloured lip gloss from this range is really nice as well. Um, and just finally, I've got um, a pigment that I just bought from Illamasqua. It was £15, so it's quite pricey, but a really, really nice colour. It's called Android. I'll just open that. It can be quite messy. So it's like, a, I would say, like a bluey black colour. Um, and that on top of something, say a paint pot by MAC, like um, black ground, um, would really be lovely for um, a night out. So that's Illamasqua Android. Um, so I'm hoping to do um, kind of a tutorial with that at some point soon. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the products I've featured, um, please just give me an email. Thanks for watching. Bye.